How you doing? Welcome to this Lightroom Mobile Tutorial. In this Lightroom Mobile Tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this Moody Teal preview. So as you can see here, we've got this Moody Teal preset. It's really nice. It's, um, it sits well on, on lots of green images. And um, this image sort of started its life out as this. So we're going to make it back to that and make that preset from scratch. Let's go. So I'm going to open up my um, my effects panel here. And the first thing I'm going to do to take it back to, um, to normal is, um, or back to the start point, is click the undo button here. And, um, and reset all the adjustments. So that's reset. So I'm going to open up my lights, and then the first thing, the first thing I'm going to do is drag that exposure down a little bit to minus 30, shall we say? And then let's go up with the contrast to to plus 30. Um, highlights going to drag that up to plus 30, and then let's drag the shadows down. To minus 20 whites need to be a plus let's go with 15 and then drag the blacks down to make it a little bit dark so it is a bit moody um, minus 45 so that looks um, looks looks like we're set quite nicely so far so the tone curve of the S curve needs to look a little bit like this this is the the finished article of what it will look like so as you can see we're gonna add three three points on this curve we're gonna add one down in the um, in the shadows on the left hand side one in the mid tones lower shadows and then we're going to drag the other one or keep the other one in the highlights so the first one we want to mess with is this one here and drag it sort of halfway down this first box and the very very first one drag that up a little bit so you've got this this nice sort of um, this nice linear curve curve oh sorry nice steady curve there and then we're going to drag this um, this one down to here to this second the second box and then quite simply final one just drag it over here and then the top one I'm going to drag down a little bit yeah that looks nice yeah I think that's good and then we're going to close that um, close that light box down or the lights panel down because that's us done with that part you can already see it starts to take shape quite nicely but then we just want to mess about with the colors and and um, and just adjust those slightly so the temperature because we want to add a little bit of um, a little bit of bluish sort of tinge to it we're going to drag down to minus five give it a bit of a cold feel Vibrance, leave the tint vibrance. We're going to drag that up again. That will pull that temperature through a little bit. Don't worry about the the, the green, the the prominent green. We'll sort that out in the color wheel um, shortly. And then the saturation, we're going to drag that down. Um, probably the same as what we went up on the vibrance. So um, then we're going to go to the color wheel here, and we'll start off with the reds and the reds quite simple we'll drag the saturation down to around 20 and then the luminance again we'll drag that down to 10 let's go to the oranges oranges get rid of the, some of the oranges from that image minus 10 on the saturation we'll go minus 20 on the sorry on the on the hue minus 10 saturation minus 20 and then we'll go a little bit higher on the luminance minus 35 maybe yeah yellows let's get rid of some of those yellows um, on the saturation saturated areas sort of here you, you'll be able to see on this yellow area let's drag that down to minus minus 80 so that's got rid of and like this part here if that was reset that's what it was was at so we just want to drag it to sort of minus 80 ish That's that, um, and then yeah, let's get into those. Um, let's get into those greens and and dull those down a little bit. I think we'll do that with the saturation and, and the luminance really. So saturation, let's go sort of midway on the saturation minus minus forty. Yeah, and then the luminance again doesn't need to be too much, but we do want to get rid of some of those those greens in the luminance and let this blue sort of feel fall through. You see here. On the image let's go to the teals obviously these gonna to need to be up a little bit because it's a, a moody teal let's go plus 35 and then minus 60 and if you watch the image as you do this or this image in particular you'll start to see the the, the teal sort of feel come through and then minus 60 on the luminous as well 
So again, we want it to be the 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 teal to be notable, but not overpowering. Then the blues, we need to get rid of some of those blues, I suppose. So let's go a little bit bigger on the blues, minus 70. So now you can see this teal coming through here, look. Minus 70, minus 60 on the saturation, which will dull that down a little bit or take the blue away from it. And then minus 60 on the luminance as well, just to completely get rid of it. Now all you can see is definitely just the teal coming through and no blue. So then I think the purples and the pinks, not much is going to happen with the image if we um, if we do anything with those. So let's just leave those alone unless we we ramp them up a little bit. Um, not particularly on this image, but other images that might affect it. So I'm going to close the color wheel down and then open my effects up. So on the clarity, we want to just um, yeah drag the clarity up plus 15, dehaze plus 25 and then the vignette minus 20 to make that um, to make that centerpiece of this image pop out so I think that's all we need to do on that really I suppose we could add a little bit of detail let's go plus plus 10 ish on the sharpening and that's that's really about that and then we could just save that um, save that preset by clicking our three dots up here create preset let's save it in our YouTube presets. And we're just going to call this Moody, Moody Teal. Click the little arrow. That's that preset saved. So now, if we wanted to apply that to another image, there is probably a little bit more I would do do with this image. We, um, I would probably make this. Obviously, this this droplet is the subject. I'd probably make that pop a little bit more, and I could. Do a tutorial on, on how to do that. But I suppose any anything with any green in, if you apply this preset, just click the, your little presets at the top here, and then click your moody teal. And then again, I would probably brighten up the, the center of this image a little bit more, but it looks quite nice. So um, that's what it looks like without the preset. And this image here looks like this with the preset, just uh, makes it a little bit moody and a little bit a little bit more adds the little bit of teal to it I suppose you could try it on other images where I was saying you know it might not work on other images but it might work on other images let's have a look so this is one I don't think it would work as well on but you can still see if that was the desired effect that you wanted from that image then yeah you would apply that preset it looks quite nice so um, I hope this um, hope this tutorial has helped you out I'll speak to you all again soon bye